Hello YouTube, this is Krosama, and here I have the Build Strike Galaxy Cosmos. Um, this is a pretty cool looking high grade. There's some points I want to make in this video, uh, namely about that backpack, which I will get into. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and strip off the backpack, we're going to take off the weapons, and then talk about the main body first. Alright, so just a quick bit of history for this suit. Um, it is actually an upgraded version from the Bill Strike Cosmos. Uh, one of the main differences uh, with this is that uh, he now has a, a much further enhanced RG system and he does have a new backpack which is the Galaxy Booster. Uh, so essentially this is, can actually utilize the Plusky Particles uh, much better. Uh, it can utilize certain um, you know internal systems a little better. Uh, so overall it, it's just a, a, a much beefy version of of the cosmos I really do like the core suit I love the way the high grade looks the, the main body I uh, love the clear parts and everything it looks fantastic and the kit itself is actually from the star build strike Gundam um, which is a, is a great high grade um, I haven't built it but I messed with it and it pretty much felt like a very uh, more sturdy version of just the build strike Gundam which I have built and I love that one as well Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the head. Um, there's very few differences overall with the head, uh, namely with the clear piece, the little, um, I guess like jewel, you know, head, cr head crown jewel. Uh, that's gonna be different, a little clear piece, which is pretty nice. And then right here on the back is gonna be a clear piece that just kind of wraps around the back of the head. Uh, overall, the head is nice, it's on a little polycap uh, dual joint, little dual ball joint. Um, pretty good, you get a, a good range of you know, posability, so no issues there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the body. Uh, there's a couple of you know reused parts from the old Star Build Strike, which is namely going to be uh, the red and the blue right here, and the gray piece right there. Uh, but what's going to be different is going to be this giant white piece that has all these red clear parts all over it, uh, which those are really nice. Uh, I don't really see any issues with those. Uh, I think clear pieces generally look good if it's kind of done a certain way. Um, I think the one way that I can say is not done very correctly is going to be the Scramble Gundam. I though I I do like that that overall build um, I think the clear pieces just didn't really suit my kind of interest okay let's go ahead and take a look at the arms uh, well the shoulders I think the shoulders are the same with the red but these whites are definitely going to be uh, different pieces I could be wrong on the red parts though uh, and then you're gonna have this little gimmick right here which brings out these um, like they separate these little clear red pieces. Uh, to be honest, I think it's just for the uh, the whole galaxy kind of like RG system, or I'm sorry, the star system uh, with this kit. I don't really know much about it except for um, it's supposed to increase the power of emitted beams and increases the movement speed. Um, so I guess that's pretty much all it does, uh, unless there's a couple of other gimmicks that it has. Um, that's really about it though. The arms, they're really nice, have good range of posability. Um, I, I, the one thing I do like about uh, some of these high grades is right here in these joints, I love the fact that they're kind of like separate in their own kind of, you know, I, I don't know how to really explain it, but like they're, they're, they're kind of separate, a uh, little like raised. Uh, so that gives you the option to, to go ahead and paint it. I like to paint mine uh, gold. I'm probably going to start doing bronze from that one because I think bronze is just a better color, but uh, the tools I had at the time, I just went ahead and did a, um, a little gold right there for the... Uh, the which may call it <laughs> the joints uh, something that's pretty you know pretty decent and I just went ahead and painted that red um, I think that's pretty much about it this I think this is also yeah th this was supposed to be a sticker right here uh, this blue piece but I went ahead and just painted that because I rather uh, paint my stuff than anything and then right here this was supposed to be a black piece but I went ahead and just painted that um, black instead of using the sticker okay let's go ahead and take a look at the waist real quick um, nothing really too spectacular about the waist um, I don't really know if this was carried over. I think this was uh, this whole waist piece, uh, front waist piece. I think this is all carried over from the uh, the star build strike as well as the back. So I, I I'm not really too certain, but I want to say that all this is the same exact pieces from the star build strike. So you're really not going to be getting anything different uh, with the um, the galaxy cosmos. Uh, which isn't a bad thing because I think it's one of those cases like if it's not broken then you don't really need to fix it. And for the, the waist, maybe, the, I think the waist could have benefited from having a clear piece uh, around here instead of this black area. Uh, which I, I just went ahead and painted it so it doesn't come molded in that black. Uh, but I think a clear piece right here or even for the um, the front little like crotch uh, blue crown or whatever, 
that could have benefited from a clear piece as well. Uh, and also these little red, uh, red spots right here, this is supposed to be a giant sticker, uh, but once again, I went ahead and just painted that. Okay, and then taking a look at the legs. Um, the legs are pretty good. They have a good range of posability. Uh, the one thing I would say though, uh, they're gonna be hindered on the side just due to the fact that these uh, side skirts kind of get in the way. Uh, you can really try to move it out the way. It's a little bit difficult, but uh, if you do try and push too hard, it is gonna go ahead and just uh, get pushed right off. So that is gonna be a problem. But overall, the posability is pretty nice when it comes to uh, the joint right there in the knee and then the ankles. Uh, they have a large, wide, uh, wide range of movement as well as the uh, ankle guard, as you can see. Uh, there's no stickers that go right here, but I went ahead and just painted those black anyways. I did kind of a spotty job because I didn't have any masking tape at the time I did this. Uh, so it does kind of look a little uh, messy, but hey, it kind of is what it is. Uh, but there is a uh, red piece. It's not actually this color at all. Uh, it's just a, not a red, well, it's a, it's a solid blue sticker that goes over this entire part. Um, I just went ahead and went with the kind of like metallic one because I just, I, I like the way the metallic looked on it. So I decided to do that. It kind of makes me want to go ahead and get, um, <clears throat> it, wants me, it makes me want to get another one of these just to do an RG style. Uh, but that's kind of like a little bit later on in the future. And then this uh, star system piece right here, this actually uh, comes out. So it stays flush right like there. And I'm pretty sure when the star system is activated, then it'll just pop up just like that. Uh, but other than that, I don't think any other stickers are used on here. Um, no, no other stickers are used. So overall, it's not really too bad of a leg. All right, and here's the sticker sheet that actually comes with the kit. Um, all these I did not use. Well, I, I technically did use them. I put them on the kit. And then that same day, uh, I was able to get someone to go out and buy me a whole bunch of the um, Gundam paints and markers. Uh, just so that way I can go ahead and utilize those instead of using these stickers. So I pretty much just, once I put these on there on the kit, I just took them off and then trashed them. Uh, but overall, these are all the stickers that you can be getting for the kit. And here you can see it actually comes with two nice little beam sabers. Uh, the hilts actually get stored on the side of the waist as you've seen earlier in the video. Uh, so this is kind of just basic when it comes to the, uh, the Bill Strike Gundam. Uh, and the you know star bill strike and now this one it's just gonna come with some beam sabers uh, so nothing really new here okay now you also get the beam rifle which uh, I, I really don't like I'm sorry guys um, I know it's very similar uh, it's either very similar or it's the exact same as the star bill strike uh, high grade I can't I can't re really remember um, and I kind of just too lazy to do some research um, but overall I think this is so ugly and such it's so poorly done at that um, a lot of this, like this front you know, piece right here, this is supposed to be white, and then the whole top piece is supposed to be white as well. Um, so aside from you having to do some paint work, which I'm not saying that, that's not a negative um, by any means, but um, I, I just think it's kind of poorly done. And also these little bottom pieces uh, right underneath here, those are those are supposed to be green so i went ahead and just painted those i didn't have the primer i have the primer now but um i didn't have the primer to go ahead and prime this up and then go ahead and paint white uh so i was just a little bit too lazy and i left it just gray because to be honest like th i'm probably not even gonna pose it with the gun i'm just gonna have it with the beam sabers um but it does have a little gimmick which i'll show you right now uh you essentially take this loose part off well it's not really loose it's tight on there but it doesn't really connect any uh, into anything and then you're gonna go ahead and take this, and this is gonna just kinda of like rotate forward, and you're gonna slap it right into this little peg uh, right here, which that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Um, but overall, like, I, I don't know, I, I just really don't like this. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it upside down. Uh, so it's gonna go like this. There we go. So, so it's gonna go like that. I mean, I guess that looks a little bit better, but still, um, I, I'm not really a fan of this weapon by any means. Um, so to, to me, this, I would rather just give me uh, some Kotobukiya weapons and just utilize those or some extra, you know, Bandai extra part weapons. Okay, and now we're gonna take a look at the shield. Uh, well, it's called the Cosmo Shield. Um, so to utilize the star system, which has generally been used offensively and uh, also for defensive uh, purposes, uh, it's capable of diffusing enemy attacks. So whenever like enemies shoot at it, it basically transfers that energy into the shield and then, then can be transferred into the rifle, which is cool. So the shield does have a, a few different parts. I believe this white piece and that clear piece is gonna be completely different uh, than from the regular Star, um, star Build Gundam. Uh, star Build had a gimmick to where this part actually opened, um, but this one actually does not. 
Now what this thing does have is uh, pretty much like the same gimmick. I kind of just had to take the, the arm off. Um, this little piece opens up right here. So let me connect his arm back on. And with the gimmick, you can go ahead and just attach this little piece into there. And that's what's gonna go ahead and kind of transfer all the energy from the shield into the, um, the meme rifle. So that way he can just emit a much more powerful blast. Okay, and now we're gonna talk about possibly the most controversial uh, backpack in Gundam history. I, I think a lot more people probably dislike this than like it. Uh, me, I'm kind of like on the fins. Like, yeah, I see the goofiness of it. Um, it does look ridiculous. I think this as like just a, a flight booster, like a core fighter, I think this is okay. Like this doesn't look too bad. The problem is when it gets on the Gundam itself and it, it, it puts itself in that like Patrick, <laughs> that starfish mode, I think that looks kind of goofy. Um, and the, the main problem with this is that these binders are just way too plain. There's nothing on them. They're just white plot plate almost. Um, now you could do some stuff to it. Like, since, you know, since it has like these ra um, raised edges, uh, you can go ahead and I, I would say just do some shading on that or maybe cut some panel lines right inside there. I think that would overall make it better or you, if you want, uh, take all these off and just make one solid wing, you know, instead of all these multiple different wings. That's fine. I don't know what Sayori was thinking when he made this, but um, he obviously had some kind of idea to make the, um, you know, his, his mobile suit better with this backpack. Okay, and here it is with the Galaxy Booster in its Patrick Starfish mode. Um, it still looks crazy to me. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying it's just. It's not overly terrible. It's just. It's. It's overly plain, uh, and it's very goofy looking. So I'm not gonna say it's bad. I. I you know, if if someone said, "Hey, you have to pilot this mobile suit," I'd be like, "Hey, I'm all about it, man. Let me go ahead and just and pilot it. Whatever. Uh, the backpack wouldn't really phase me. Um, but what I personally volunteer myself to you know, demand this backpack on any one of my mobile suits? Absolutely not. It, it's so goofy and ridiculous, um, but hey, it kind of works for this mobile suit. I think it just, I think it looks okay, but for the most part, the main body is what I think is gonna look better. Uh, but this is only one of the uh, two main styles that it actually has. So in this form, this is the star system. Uh, basically all the wings on the booster open up and then all the crystal parts on the shoulders and legs, those things are gonna open and extend. Um, so the ability of the gun uh, of the gunpla to control its particles are going to drastically improve, uh, which overall is gonna improve mo uh, mo uh, mobility, uh, speed, accuracy. Um, I'm pretty sure some of the uh, actual strengths of the mobile suit itself uh, comes out as well. Honestly, I like this one better than the starfish mode. Um, I think, it, I think it looks okay. I think it looks pretty stylish, very edgy per se. Um, so you know what? This is fine. This is okay in my books. Um, I would just, I would probably prefer a different backpack overall still, but you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take it. I bought it for a reason because I think this looks pretty decent. So hey, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with it. All right, one of the last few things I have to say about this kit, uh, it does come with a stand, so that's a plus. Any, any kit that comes with a stand, uh, automatically gets an extra point in my books. Um, so this is really awesome. This is obviously used from the Star Build Strike uh, high grade, so you ain't gonna have all those little tiny bits you can plug right into there. But overall, it's a nice addition. Okay, and this is an extra part right here. This is pretty much a, uh, an adapter part for the backpack. So if you wanna use this backpack to, like on any other mobile suit that has the, these two uh, connecting pegs, uh, you definitely can do so with that. Um, it's, I mean, it's a really nice little piece that they added. So you don't really have to use it with this backpack at all. Just anything, uh, any backpacks that have a single uh, peg connection point can be used with that. All right, guys. Well, hey, this is the end of the review. So what are my thoughts on this kit overall? I think the main body is amazing. I think the clear parts are fantastic. The posability is awesome. It's actually fun to kind of like mess with and put in the different funny poses. But I think the shield, the shield is, is, is okay. It just really gets in the way of bringing that clear piece down, as you can see. Um, it's, just, it's just always gonna get in the way, which is gonna be problematic. But the rifle is just way too plain. Yes, I don't mind uh, painting it. Uh, but I think, I, I just feel as if it could have been easily um, molded into oh, like white pieces as well as the gray pieces. I don't know why they didn't do that. Maybe just cost of, uh, effectiveness. 
but hey, I'm not really too fan of the rifle, whether it is molded in the right colors or not. I still think it looks kind of foolish. Um, other than that, I, I think the overall kit is fine. Backpack, yes, as gimmicky as it is, it's okay. It's not like the worst backpack I've personally ever seen. I've, I've seen worse, mainly from the, uh, the G Gundam series. Um, but hey, this is a really fun kit. If you really like it, customize it, make it however you want. Um, but that's really it for me, guys. It's an okay kit. If you want to buy it, buy it. If not, not. But um, if you do like this review, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to ring that bell for notifications. And I'll be seeing you in the next review, which will probably be about 12 hours from now. So I'll see y'all guys later. Bye.